Hey folks, welcome back to another 10 minute job. Today we're doing another wood project. Um, this is my problem. So I've got my junk here spread out this way when I could be going this way. So all I'm going to do is build some really simple shelves. It's got a strips of plywood and we're going to go up. So I'm going to have maybe one, two, three shelves in a box. And then that will create a fourth shelf on top as well. So that all this can go up and free up all this space over here. So let's get to it. All right, folks. So I kind of got set up out here and I've got uh, some scrap that I found. Just got a couple pieces of what looks like, I don't know, three eighths. The squares got this longer piece also in three eighths. And then I've got a five eighths probably piece right here. So I think I can get what I want out of all that. Um, my plan here, and I think I'll just kind of try to draw it up here, right here on the fly, if you guys can see that. So I'm just going to create a box out of strips, say, I don't know, two inches wide. We'll come down, this will be one side view, let's start there. And then I think I'll have a piece going across here. So maybe just two strips. Hmm. Might have to be more. And another piece going across here to hold that together. And then we'll have strips going this way. across the bottom and down so I don't know if that makes any sense at all it's about the ugliest drawing but that's good as you're gonna get out of me um, but it's just strips of two inch plywood um, I'm gonna just glue and pin nail them together real simple not looking to spend a whole lot of time again 10 minute job is always my goal um, but just a simple storage solution. So I think what I'm going to do now is grab some measurements. All right, so I grab some measurements. I'm going to do 31 and a half tall and then 14 wide and 14 deep. Um, so now what I'm going to do is try to break up the math here to see exactly how many two inch or three inch strips I actually need to make this kind of economical, if you will. So, time to do some math. Ooh, fun.
All right, hopefully you got to see all that. Um, just did a time lapse. So I was kind of just figuring out as I went, but I've got the frame built now. Um, so we should be around, I said I was looking for like 31 and a half, or 32 ish, 32 and a quarter. And then um, outside dimension is 14 as I wanted. Inside that leaves us with uh, 12. I just realized I messed something up. You see it? Whoops. <laughs> That's all right. Um, again, this is not meant to be something super spectacular or pretty anything like that. It's purely function over form. Um, so the next step is I'm going to put one, two shelves in here, kind of equally spaced. Um, I think I'm just going to use some of the scrap for some cleats. So it'll just be a runner across here. And then the shelf I will build, I don't know, maybe strips out of this piece. See what kind of strips I've got left. Again, I'm trying to just use scrap. So that's the next step. That's all done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's all done. So there it is. Our finished product. If we can see that in the dark, I don't have a light in this closet. But basically, cleared off this whole shelf pretty much. Just stacked it up there. And went up on top a little bit. There it is. Worked out pretty well, I think. I mean, like I said, wasn't looking for anything special or super fancy or pretty or anything like that. Just functional. And that seems functional to me. I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll do. And it was quick. So that was another 10 minute job. So if you like that, like, subscribe, comment, all those things. Let me know what I can do in the future. If you've got any ideas, I'd be happy to hear them. Um, probably going to end up doing more shelves, something like I need some shelves in the garage, some more shelves in the garage. Who doesn't? Um, but again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.